So Sid's eating his sandwich now. Let's go back! <laughs> okay, we're back from a really long time. No, I'm dead. No, I'm dead. Only a mum. I thought you guys know. Okay, are we in this file? Ah, uh, wait. Change save files. Yeah. Just checking. No. Yeah, that's right. This is the save file you're in. That's right. Yeah. Mm. That one. Mm. Delicious. I just started while Sid finishing his. Uh... Well, I have to. You not to, but you're now so. Wait, you also have to finish your bar, I guess. Oh. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be drinking. You can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shot with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Big B? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered okay, these women? Don't be eating one. Alright. But, you know... Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is going to be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really. I mean it. Yeah. Crane got away from him. Out with the old, in the with the new. Long live the queen. Yeah. Was that in Kill Tudor League or Tudor Dub? I don't know, maybe. Maybe both of them. I didn't kill with them, but apparently someone's watching. That's the formula of the game. That if someone's watching you while well, you're killing someone, they'll, they'll remember it. Okay, where am I? And how long is it going to take a look? Well, you weren't, you're not killing them. You're ripping out that bro! You remember that? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, let's load it in. Loading. Well, I said my computer is uh, not the best at the moment. Well, you somehow downgraded. No, oh, it's Windows 8.1. Just note to people who are watching this, don't get Windows 8.1. As good as the uh, home button is. It's not as tempting as it is. As tempting as it is. I think it's frozen. No, it's still loading. I hear music off. Oh, right there it is. What to you? I don't know. We're about to find out. I haven't played this yet. are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. Yeah. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, it. he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. You do this stuff. Easy there. Try not to move. Keep needing this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. But there's little I can do for the pain. What? <coughs> what happened to me? There was. You got lucky, and found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon, me. Please, Big B, don't move it, Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged, saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Go and set your own arm! No, oh, I guess I have no option. I'm gonna say something else. Don't worry, it'll be harmless. Harmless? 
For heaven's sake. See now? That wasn't so difficult, was it? Like something you do when you dislocate your shoulder. Yeah, well, it'll heal up right away because you're a woman. You're probably better off. This way I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. No problem what to do! Leave the bulletin. More Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Oh. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind... Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. Not his arm's broken. We'll be Don't worry, my arm's already fine. Like, Give on, us the then. time. <laughs> Shake my hand. There's a pig in the room if you haven't seen it. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. Cold it's finished cold. when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. It's his chest. Uh, there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. It's like this when one. you find all the dead people. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I'll do with you, Doc! Will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't... Silence is always an option. Silence is always an option. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Stick up, bro. White, Sheriff, Colin, Swiney. Colin, Swiney. <laughs> so, how do you, um, feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well then. I'm glad you're not dead. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you're not dead either. It's a pickup <laughs> You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or. Died, I guess. This now gives me mythical wolf powers. Arrow! It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, I'm here for you, Snow. I'd never leave you. No. Oh. Oh! Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. <laughs> You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. <laughs> Colin. I'm just oh, saying really I was worried that. about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The crooked man that. came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, 
That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder... Yeah, uh, Thanks, Snow. For all that Should back remember there. Yeah. Remember no now! Problem. No problem, thanks. pal! You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take Thank your you word for it. it. All I care about right Boston. now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Bacon. Getting him out of town? Come here, lunch. Is this all about Come the murders? Bacon. Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? Crane was a puppet, and the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The crooked man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. But I didn't kill we anyone. need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, right, if I no. really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' this. mind at a moment's notice, I'll do better. Friend. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Yes, no, remember. Thank bye you. bye. Oh, I'm sorry. Look, Colin, I'm sorry that I have to bring you. all this up, but Did he say Colin I think it's no, important. No, but he gave me the evil. Look, Bigby. I care about how this is done, just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself. Colin. Okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it. Okay? It's just that, okay. now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All house. unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like oh. that? It's <clears throat> in the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. If Snow says that's the way it's gotta be, that's the way it's gotta be. What? Are you kidding me? If you would simply get a, that. Glamour, talk, talk, talk. get a glamour? With what money? You think I can work? I don't even have thumbs. <laughs> you can work as a bacon. <laughs> Wolf's girl. residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Woodsman. Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. But she's got what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. <laughs> something about your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. A she knows shit. something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Oh, and I should probably change out of these clothes. 
Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. She's gonna scold me. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? I don't know. Snow come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. That means you're still going to farm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. That's probably the good answer. Colin is the crooked man! Yeah, the shoe. The shoe house. Because people live in shoes. This is not. And all of Harry Dow. 